hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so in this tutorial we will show the user post on the profile.php file so let's start so after this closing div we will open up our div and then we will close that div and the div class will be equals to col hyphen sm hyphen 6 and now inside this div we will display the user's post so now first we need to global up the first we will open up a php tag and then inside this php tag we will type g l o b a l global and then the connection variable and now we will add an if condition so if i set dollar underscore get and then if the url is set to the u underscore id then what we will do is to create a variable u underscore id and it will be equals to dollar underscore get and then u underscore id so we will uh, so using this if condition we will get the user id and using that id we will fetch the user's data from the database so now we will create another variable get underscore post and then we will type select all from the post stable where user underscore id will be equals to the dollar u underscore id variable and then order by will be one and then in the descending order and then limit will be only five because we will only show the first five latest post okay not all the post of that user so it will select the post from the table in the descending order i mean from the last and uh, limit is five so it will only take the latest five po post of that user and then we will create a variable run underscore post and it will be equals to my sqli underscore query we will pass the dollar connection variable and then the dollar cat underscore post variable and now we will add a while loop so while and then dollar row underscore post variable will be equals to my sqli underscore fetch underscore array and then the dollar run underscore post variable ob era okay so now inside here so first we will take the post id so we will create a variable post underscore id it will be equals to first the dollar to underscore post variable and then the post underscore id from the database i mean this one this post underscore id and then we will take the user id then the content of the post and then the image and then the post date so the first one is the user id then the content then the image and then the post date so now what we will do is to now we will get the users information who just posted so for that we will create a user variable and it will be equals to a query query will be select all from the users table where user underscore id will be equals to the dollar user underscore id variable and uh, the post will be 
equals to yes then we will create a variable run underscore user it will be equals to my i underscore query then the dollar connection variable we will pass the connection variable and then the user variable and after that we will get a variable run underscore user and it will be equals to my SQLI underscore fetch underscore array and then the dollar run underscore user variable and after that we will get a variable user underscore name now we will get the username so for that we will type we will create a variable user underscore name it will be equals to row underscore user this row underscore user variable so we will just paste it over here and then the user underscore name from the database and then the user profile image so we will create a variable user underscore image and then the row underscore user and then the user underscore image now we will display the post of that user so for that we will type in if condition if dollar cons if condition the content will be equal equals to no first we will write the if condition for only the image okay the image post so for that we will type if dollar content is equal equals to no and then str len and if the if there is any upload image so we will just show that image to the user and now over here we will type echo and inside this echo tag we will open up a diff tag and we will close that diff tag and uh, its id will be equals to on underscore post and uh, then to inside that div we will open up another div and over here we will type class is equals to row and then inside that div we will open up another div and this div class will be equals to the call hyphen sm hyphen 2 first we will show the user profile image so we already did that on the functions.php file so we will just copy this two lines of code from here and then just paste it over here and after this closing div we will open up another div and uh, its class will be equals to call iphone sm iphone 6 not 2 and then we will show the username and then the post date and we already did that on the function.php file so we will just copy this four lines of code and just paste it over here and then after this closing div we will open up another div and then close that div and uh, its class will be equals to call hyphen sm hyphen 4 and we will leave that empty and then after this closing div we will open up another div and uh, 
this div class will be equals to row and then inside this div we will open up another div and its class will be equals to call hyphen sm hyphen 2 and over here we will show the post image so we will copy that code from the functions.php file here this if condition here is the image post and then just paste it over here we only want to show the post image on the whole of the side I mean over here so we need to change this to 12 and after the this ending div we will add a br and then we will show a button the view button and then the delete button so for the view button we can just simply just copy that comment button from the function.php file and then we will just paste it down over here and we will change this to view and then this info to success and that's it and now we need to create the delete button so for that we will first open up a, a herf and then herf will be equals to the functions folder and then the delete underscore post.php file and we will set the post underscore id to that post id which the user has clicked on so after this we will uh, give it some style style will be equals to just copy this float right from here and then just paste it down below and then we will close that and we will copy this button and all of that code and just paste it over here change this to danger and this wave to delete but make sure that make this d capital we will create this delete underscore post.php file in the next video and also the single dot php file so don't worry and then at this ending div we will add two br tags and now we will add an else if condition i mean from only the not for the we will now show the that post which have a caption and uh, image also i mean this type of post okay like this one so for that we will first just copy this if condition and we will paste it down below and we will change this if to else dollar content first give it a str land and then we will close that in a brackets change this to greater than or equals to one and that's it so now over here we will show the caption and then the image so for that we will just copy that three lines of code from the function.php file and just paste it over here and that's it and now only for the textual post so for that we will create a only else condition so first just copy this else if condition and just paste it down below and change and remove this if and also all of that code and then we need to change or we can remove this image tag and that's it and now if we just save this and go to the profile.php file don't worry guys we can still fix this okay because we didn't design it so here is our post okay and then the two buttons 
the view button we didn't create that file so we will create that in the later videos don't worry so in the next video guys we will design this uh, profile.php okay so don't worry and if you are new to our channel then please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to stay tuned